bar. He's the only boss with an actual health bar, and that was not a good start. Okay, I'm probably going to fail a couple times at first because I need to remember his attack pattern. That attack, like, all of his attacks are extremely devastating on hard. Like, a lot of his attacks can actually, like, about one hit kill you on hard. But you at least have a few electrical things to drain from. And like I said, I gotta remember his attack pattern, so I'm probably gonna die a few times. Yeah, like I said, I'm gonna probably die a couple times while I remember his attack pattern. Maybe Zeke does. Huh? Huh? Maybe Zeke does. Well, then again, Zeke pretty much screwed us over, so... <laughs> I actually like you for about three seconds, Kessler. I actually like you for a few seconds because you, like, almost killed Zeke. I like you for a moment. Yeah, that's right. Now, on easy difficulty, though, I felt like Kessler was always the easiest boss on easy difficulty. Maybe that's just me, but that's what I always felt like. Like I said, though, he's not easy on the higher difficulties. Mainly because his attacks are so damaging. Okay. Come on. So yeah, what you want to do, the main way to hit him is to avoid that attack every time he does it until he sits down like that. And then shoot him a couple times, and I am out of electricity. I really need to drain, but it's going to be difficult to do with him attacking me. Got it. More hits. Drain as much electricity as you can for like two seconds. Very nice. Yes. Daughter, you never had. Ow. That he couldn't win for you, don't care. of his remaining hell. But I need energy now. But that was pretty epic. Uh, great time for Karmic Overload. Took out the majority of his remaining hell. Aw, oh, come on, Kessler. Give me a chance to hit you, though. Aw, oh, more of your stupid little drony drones. Well, I took out some of his health, though, while I did it, so I'm not going to complain. His drones don't really do too much because there's only three of them and no other enemies. They're more of a nuisance, honestly. Alright, we've almost got him. His health's almost empty. Yes! We've got him, guys. He throws us right back to the center. Tap quickly.
Isn't that like a bomb thing? Yeah, that's like a bomb TV. What the heck? Technically, we've heard all that already. So, we're going to activate it. Evil action. Let's see what happens. I pick up the ray sphere and instantly feel it leeching off me, humming, crackling, growing in power. As I activate it, I think of Trish, how she died, and I swear to myself that I will never let something like that happen again. Then John rips it away, telling me I'm crazy, screaming, but it's too late. The ray sphere breaks open, creating a vortex. It tears John apart, and I run. John and the Ray Sphere are gone. Reduced to ashes. But I got what I wanted. So the Ray Sphere still goes away, which is cool. But, as you can see, you yeah, gain, I believe, three good. battery slots. But your karma goes you all the way, takes you all the way down to full infamous, full evil. You were right, trying to use it again. That's the kind of thinking that will help you face what's coming. Maybe you're not a lost cause. For the longest time, I wanted nothing more than to get out of this city, leave it to rot. But when I was staring at the race sphere, I realized that there's no reason for me to leave. This is my city now. I control every inch of it, and no one is going to stand in my way. <laughs> yes, I suppose it is that time. Meet me over by the Staten Building. So, if you choose to do that, you immediately go to maximum negative karma, and I'm not even totally sure you can regenerate back to, like, good karma again. But more importantly than that, you now get basically red-black lightning. Cole looks freaking epic. You get three more battery cores as well. And black lightning storm! <laughs> oh, yeah. So that is really, really epic. And I could have sworn that you get more XP if you, uh... Yeah, I, I could have sworn that you get more XP if you activate it, but maybe I'm wrong. But yeah, guys, that's what happens if you go and disable the race and activate the race here. Oh, I'm out. Dang it. I wanted to destroy more stuff. Hey, guess what? Oh, I can't walk near it. Let's kill you. And you and kill you. Or you're just gonna survive. So yeah, that's pretty epic. That's what happens if you activate the race Sphere. So guys, that is truly it for Infamous. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the Let's Play. And I will see you guys in a few, probably about a week at most, for the start of my next Let's Play, which will be revealed, of course, in the upcoming channel updates. So, see you guys then. Black Lightning! <laughs>